What is crack lack and collectors collect the time here again today and today is the Sunday session and this is where I talk about things with you guys. This could be the topics I want to talk about, any news of releases, etc, etc, and I give out shout outs and videos of the week and just anything in general. Okay, so today we've got some interesting stuff to talk about. I've got some brand new pops that are just being released uh, in the next couple months and there's some really, really awesome ones coming out. Some of you guys might already know about this uh, news already but I'd like to have my opinion on it and stuff like that. But first we have uh, a shout out to give out and a video of the week. Okay, so my first shout out I wanna give out to is uh, a channel called Card by Brammers, I believe it is. Now this guy actually sells cards on eBay and he has his own store online and stuff like that. I've bought uh, quite a few products from him in the past. And on uh, Facebook, he used to have this thing where, I think I'm gonna say this right, it's sort of like this little drawer where people pay to get into it and a certain amount of people are selected and then he picks out like a type of energy like a leaf energy or fire energy or a trainer card and then out of the people that uh, have bought the way in they get allocated to a certain element uh, of the energy and he opens up all these boost packs like we're talking about tons of boost packs so whatever card he pulls it could be like a rare GX or secret rare card that comes under that that uh, just say leaf energy and that card gets put in that pile of the leaf cards and then that person gets that bunch of cards, if that makes sense. Now this guy's really, it's a really cool thing he's doing and he's been doing it on Facebook. But now he's jumped onto uh, YouTube and I have followed this guy for quite a while and I just want everyone to do me a massive favor today, if that's possible, uh, to go over to this guy's channel. I'll have it linked in the description below. Let him know that I sent you there and I just really want people to check this guy out. He's a really awesome guy, really is. And I just would really appreciate it if some of you guys could go do that for me. Just type in the comments on one of his videos. Collector Tyrant says hello or something. Something like on, that, on the lines of that or something like that. It'd be really awesome. Cheers if you could do that. That'd be really awesome. You don't have to if you don't want to. But that'd be really epic. Alright guys, so we're moving on to video of the week. Now, I picked a pretty big YouTuber for this one. Uh, his name is Leanheart. If you haven't heard of this guy from the Pokemon community, uh, he'd been living underneath a rock, I think. <laughs> Uh, this guy uh, has been searching for a card, I think everyone's been searching for this card, and that is a Rainbow Rare Charizard, and he has finally pulled this card. Uh, I'm not going to go into the video and you know, click on it to show you guys or anything like that, I'm just going to show you where the video is. Uh, definitely check this out, he's finally done it, he's finally pulled that really expensive Charizard card, and I have to say I'm in quite a bit of it, uh, envy here, uh, i got a bit of a Rainbow Rare Charizard envy. And I'm hoping this year I can pull that card myself, and yeah, that'd be really good. Now, the funny thing is, a few people said this was a, a fake video. A lot of people have been saying that in the comments. But if you look at the video, he pulls a white card, and you can just tell you can't edit that stuff. Uh, you can't edit that sort of stuff, guys. So if anyone has any doubts, it's, it, this is de definitely a legitimate uh, pull. So yeah, hopefully I can pull that card myself, and uh, hope everyone else that collects these cards can pull that card if you haven't got it yet too. So yeah, I really, really want to get that card, to be honest. I'm sick of seeing people get it. But anyway, moving on to the uh, the Fungo Pops now. There's so many cool Pops coming out in the next few months. But I want to take a look at uh, one lot in particular first. They decided to bring out some Fallout 76 Pops. Funko Pops for Fallout 76 are dropping pretty soon. Now, as you can see here, I've got a little photo here to show you guys. We're just going to go through these quickly. We've got their Excavator Armor, which is an awesome addition to uh, Fallout Power Armor. We've got this uh, generic Vault Dweller. I really do get sick of seeing these to be honest, I'm not a massive fan of the, ge the generic Bolt Dwelling Pops. Uh, I probably might give this guy a miss depending on how I feel at the time. But I'll be definitely getting the Mole Miner, I think that's an epic pop, it just looks awesome. Uh, we've got the Strength Pop, uh, <laughs> funny enough that's actually a bobblehead you find in the game for those who don't know. And that, th these ones to me aren't, aren't too bad because they, as I said, I've said in a review before, they're reminiscent of the actual bobbleheads as I just said. Uh, in the game. We've got the Rad Toad. Finally the Rad Toad's come out because this is a really interesting creature for me. I really like this one. I really do like the the design of the Rad Toad so really keen to pick that one up. We've got Mothman himself. Well, <laughs> well no, he's not really himself. He's, there's quite a few Mothmans in Fallout 76 but you know what I mean. Uh, this thing is really interesting. It's a quite a creepy creepy monster to fight when you when you play the game it just pops out of nowhere you see these glowing eyes and i really like this i can't wait to do a review on these got also a, a t51 power armor it's a walmart exclusive so i'm hoping that in australia uh we might get a different type of uh exclusive maybe it'll be like a zing or a eb games exclusive for us 
But that thing, it looks really cool. I really like the design of that one too, with a big uh, Gatling chain gun. That's really, or mini gun in the game, I think they're called. But that's really epic. I really like that piece there. Um, we've also got this interesting X-01 power armor. And this is my favorite mark of uh, Fallout armor. And it's got a really interesting design on it. Um, that it seems to be a GameStop exclusive, I think. And I'm guessing in a, uh, that, that's definitely going to be an EB Games exclusive, I think, for us. Because I'm pretty sure they're run by the same people. Just different names in uh, America to Australia and Canada and all that. But I definitely want to get this one. It's got a really cool weapon on it too. It looks like a sort of guitar uh, blade thing. It's really cool. Really different. Uh, it, uh, it doesn't really look like a power armor uh, variant to me. It sort of reminds me of Kane of uh, World Wrestling Entertainment. That's who it reminds me of, like classic Kane with the mask without the hair. I like that. Uh, we've also got uh, T51 power armor. And I think that might be a best buy for you Americans. But I'm hoping that we get one. Maybe be a JB Hi5 exclusive for us in Australia. Laser rifle there with the battery uh, operated laser rifle. I think that's what it's called. And it's got this nice, really light green, sickly looking green uh, for the color scheme. Um, I'm a massive fan of the power armors, guys. I just pick these up. If they're in a different color scheme, I just pick them up or with a different weapon and stuff. I really do like these ones. These ones are really good. I really want to, you know, get these ones. I might have to start saving for this already. Uh, so definitely going to be doing a review on those down the track. All right, for another release here, we have some more Dragable Z, man. Oh. How many different ones of Dragon Ball Z are they going to bring out? Look, I, I, I can't keep up with all these awesome releases. I really can't. Now, this is really classic stuff here. It's it's really like all the first uh, sort of series of Dragon Ball Z. So we've got Nappa and Vegeta from the Saiyan Saga. And that is uh, an epic saga that really was. It's way back in the day. And that Nappa pop just looks absolutely epic. I just can't wait to get it. One of my favorite characters of all time. Definitely want to get this one. We've got another Vegeta here. That's more of a classic Vegeta with the old school... Sane, um, power, well, not power armor, armor. Uh, it's got the armor suit uh, with more sort of things going on in the, in the crutch area and stuff like that. But I like the way they've done the hair here as well. Really cool. It's not sort of straight up, it's sort of to the side. Uh, we've got a Goku, a classic style Goku. Another uh, uh, version of Goku in a different pose. Really happy to see that. But the bigger one for me is this Raditz. I really want to get this pop here. Really cool uh, design as well. We got a Chi Chi. I knew they. I had a feeling they were going to bring Chi Chi out, so that's really good. And we got. Uh, is that Goten? It might be Goten. I have no idea. But the two down the bottom, we got a Margin Boo, and we have Frieza in his first uh, form. Also, I forgot to mention uh, with the Dragon Ball Z pops, they're dropping some more Saiyans as well. They've got uh, Broly coming in, and a few other ones too. I'll just give you a picture there to see. So that's really good as well. I really can't wait to see that uh, amongst it as well. Oh, so many different. F Dragon Ball Z pops. I can't keep up with it all, guys. It's, it's, I'm gonna go broke. I really am. It's just ridiculous. They are bringing a brand new Lord of the Rings pop out as well, and it is. Oh man, remember that Witch King I did? Uh, I did a review on. They're bringing out one on uh, a Wyvern, and that is just that's epic. I can't wait to get my hands on that one. Also, we got some UFC pops, which the only one that really catches my eye there is Conor McGregor one, because he looks like he's. You know, I just like Conor McGregor. He's a, he's a bit of a show pony, and I like the stance they gave him in that one, and the tattoos as well. So I might pick this guy up. They got a few Game of Thrones uh, uh, variants when it comes to that big throne. I can't remember the name of the throne, but there's a few different pops sitting on that, from what I can see. All right, guys. So they have a few SpongeBob uh, pops being released as well. Uh, I won't talk about them too much because I'm not really interested in those ones at the moment. I do like SpongeBob. I love it. I do, but uh, but there's, as I said, compared to the other stuff. Uh, they're, just not on, they're sort of on the back burner for me at the moment because the other releases that are being dropped are definitely uh, something I want to get my hands on. But I saved the best for last, guys. The best for last. It's going to be so good. Uh, uh, this is the biggest release when it comes to Funko for me. And I just cannot wait to get my hands on these uh, pops here. Um, everyone knows I'm a massive fan of Warhammer 40k. These pops here. This is what I've been waiting for. These ones. Oh, that Dark Angels pop. The one with the, the robes is oh, it's outstanding. And you got this awesome uh, Space Wolves pop. He's a very Viking-esque uh, uh, Space Marine. Uh, we've got the new Primaris uh, Space Marine. He's not too fond of that one, to be honest. I don't really like it. I'm not a big fan of the models either. I'm just a really old school uh, Space Marine type guy. But they put a beautiful pop in here with the Corvius armor. Uh, uh, that really cool beaky helmet uh, with the Blood Angels uh, Assault Trooper or uh, Assault Marine. And they've got an awesome jump pack on there, yellow helmet, and red color scheme. And that is probably my second favorite, uh, just after the Dark Angel, uh, the robe one, and then probably 
let's say the other two uh, come after that. But yeah, really happy about that. Really happy that Games Workshop have done this. A lot of, as I said, a lot of flack has been put on Games Workshop about this from the fans of 40k. So yeah, guys, I'm quite surprised with the Warhammer 40k community, to be honest, as I've been a part of this community for so long myself. And the negativity is quite, it's very, it's, it's not what I expected, to be honest. I think the collaboration between the two companies, uh, Funko and Games Workshop, is uh, a good collaboration and a good move from Games Workshop, I think, and they're going to make profit from this. And as I respect everyone's uh, opinions on the matter, I think, um, you know, if you don't like it, don't buy it. There's people who love Funko and Games Workshop, and I think they have the right to go buy these pops, and I really hope they don't can the idea. Uh, I think they might be locked in contract now, but if they can the idea, that's really bad for the Funko community who likes Warhammer as well. So... I guess people got to start thinking about that too. It's not going to uh, ruin the grim dark future. It's, if anything, it's going to make it better, and it won't get in the way of any uh, releases that Games Workshop is dropping this year and stuff like that. So, I really don't know why there's so much uh, negativity. But as I said, things will be the way they are, and I really can't wait for these releases this year, guys. There's so many good Funko Pops coming out. I'm really looking forward to it, and I really want to hear from you guys in the in the comments. What are you guys uh, looking forward to? when it comes to Funko Pop releases. All right guys, so that's the pop for this weekend. Uh, I might be a bit late to the party, but I just want to have my opinion on the matter for you Funko fans out there. And maybe even some of you guys who aren't Funko fans who do like this stuff, uh, might pick these up just for a bit of a, you know, a little, little bit of a display piece somewhere maybe. I hope you enjoy the Sunday session guys, as I said. I hope you had a good week. And I'll definitely uh, be bringing out another one next week. Might talk about something else next week, depending on how things go. So. I'm going to let you all go for the weekend. And for all you collectors out there, keep on collecting. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, collect starting out.